Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. We are back with the Ted Show. I have a living legend with us. Um, his name is Alan, and it's not cucumber, it's Maycumber. We're going to talk about knowledge is confidence. Uh, we want to talk about a lot of stuff. Alan is a generous human being who gives a lot back to the community. And so we're going to talk a little bit about his journey, and he's going to impart some wisdom on us, which I think we could all use at this day and age. What's up? How are you? Welcome, Alan. Thank you, Ted. It's an honor to be on your show today. And um, I really always look forward to your broadcast because Thank you. it's part of what I'm going to talk about today. Fantastic. All right. So before we take a deep dive, give us a little background on you. I think uh, it's funny. People think they know you, but there's always this tidbit on how you got to where you're at. Well, how I got where I at, when I was younger, I swam for a living. I was a competitive swimmer, and I went to Southern Methodist University um, in Dallas, Texas, and I met my lovely wife there, and in 1984, I went to the Olympic trials in swimming. I don't look like it now, today, but <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was an awesome time. Uh, we got into real estate back in Dallas, back in 1988, and when the oil crunch hit, we moved to Florida. That's but awesome. before then, I was a pilot, and I flew airplanes. My dad was a pilot. My brother as a pilot was American, and he, I started flying when I was 13. Wow. So, yeah, so when I got to 15, I had my private pilot's license, and Back then in Texas, you really technically couldn't have that, but I was flying gliders, so that was a good thing. But my dad always taught me one thing, and it's knowledge is confidence. Because if you know every nut and bolt about that airplane or whatever you do in life, if you know everything and you educate yourself, you're going to be just fine. But then now you've got the knowledge well, when you have the knowledge, your confidence comes. It automatically comes. And a lot of people say, oh, so you're talking about knowledge is power. No, two different things. Because I have to say, I made a mistake on the graphic. The first graphic I sent you, it was automatic yeah. knowledge is power. And I corrected yeah. it. I'm like, oh my God, it's yeah. not knowledge is power. Now knowledge is confidence. Well, that's fine. I mean, because a lot of people get that confused. They say, well, now I've got knowledge, I've automatically got power. Well, no, because you can misuse power. Confidence comes in your personal being. It's yes. you that knows what they're doing throughout life. You're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. And I've used that throughout my life, not only in flying, which I am in one piece, and I've always been in one piece, which was great, but in my career to this day, in helping people, I think my biggest goal is to make sure people are taken care of. It's not about me. It's not at all about me. It's about the people out there in society. And so when I go into my business, not only do I support charities, I support high school football, I support the people because that will come back to me. And I, I feel that way. I really Amen. feel comfort, comfortable that what I do will come back to me. And I think it has over the years. And I've been doing this now for 30 years. And, and successfully and with the right, I feel like you. one thing that people um, do is they do a whole bunch of things and they wait for the reward, but they don't do it with the right heart in mind. They don't do it with the right intention. And what you said is you just, you love to give back. You love to help people. And then I believe that's planting seeds all over the place. And so you're going to get it back a thousandfold, uh, no matter what you do. But a lot of people go out and do all this stuff, uh, brag about all of it. And then they wonder why their phone isn't ringing or they're not getting the response that they want. Right. And I, and 100% is I don't believe that confidence is bragging. Confidence is just knowing what you're doing and you do it well. You know, I, I teach this in the classes I teach for climbers. 
and I teach the post 45 and I teach them this. I teach them that knowledge is confidence. Know everything you can, everything possible. Read books. Dale Carnegie was my first class I took. And what an amazing class that was. Gave me the confidence to stand up in front of 30, 40 people and tell a silly story about myself. And you talk about nerve wracking, but now <laughs> I can stand up in front of 500 people and talk to them and I have no problem because that was part of the educational process of just knowledge of the fear got me to confidence. How do you, and how do you, um, Give some people who are listening, I know people are listening and wondering, all right, well, knowledge, that is such a broad area. What, maybe a step or two, a first thing, you mentioned Dale Carnegie. I mean, there's all sorts of things out there, but in your uh, history and your experience, is there some good starting place that people should go or think about on their journey? I, I do believe I, one of the biggest things I always tell people is read books about what you want to do. What, what do you want to be? Uh, get educated in the field that you're in. And if you're educated in that field, that's not only going to help you build your confidence, but then it's going to give you even more avenues to follow in the process. Yes. Because, you know, Dale Carnegie is a wonderful one. I have always boosted up whatever field you're in, and you probably know this as a, as a mortgage broker, coaching. You know, we, we don't do everything on our own. We have help and the help is there. All you have to do is ask for it. And I tell my students all the time, ask me, I will tell you. If I don't know, I will find out because the best way to educate yourself is to get help. It's not about just you learning everything. People can help you. They'll tell you where to go. You have to ask. That is the, to me, that is the one people People will come up to me and I'll have shared something that, and they will say, gosh, I wish I, w I thought about this. I wish I would have asked you before. I, I didn't feel I didn't want to bother you. Listen, if you're a resource, which is what Alan's talking about being, you become a resource for people, teaching, educating people that helps expand their knowledge base and then they gain the confidence. So it's OK to ask for help or collaborate. A lot of people think that they have to keep all the knowledge here. And so if I only keep it here, then Ted's going to be so successful and I don't have to share it anywhere. That's that's coming from a place of lack and greed. Well, it, it really is because I always tell people that in, our, in any business that you're in, it's competitive. You've got competitors out there that think by taking you down, that's going to cure all their issues and all their problems. That's not going to cure anything because what it's going to do eventually is come back to bite you. So you're being mean to them or whatever it is that you think that's going to help you. That's not the way to do it. That's the way to do it is just be out there, be honest, be truthful, tell people the truth. Don't lie. There's no reason to lie about anything. Why would you? And unfortunately, we see that. We see it we in... Do every part of the world today that people think by telling a story or telling a lie is going to get them someplace and in the long run it does not just tell them the truth i think people i talk about vulnerability and authenticity on the show a lot and i feel like people view those as weaknesses rather than the strengths that they are i agree i fully agree i think really you have to master your strengths and to master those strengths, you have to educate yourself. And once you're educated, you become confident. Now, am I the number one confident person in the world? No. You know, there's probably many monks out there that know a lot more about <laughs> life than I do, but I know my field and I know what I do and I know how I help people. And I think that is what I'm, always going to concentrate on because yeah, you know what that. you know and you keep uh, educating yourself on it and fine-tuning it and tweaking it and learning more and like you said you have the you have a knowledge base 
that allows you to be confident. Having that knowledge base is a positive thing for you. But you're constantly learning. We had that question uh, before we went live when I was advertising the show. Uh, they wanted to know, well, how, how do you know when you've reached your confidence level or reached the max on your knowledge level? And the amazing thing is you never do. You no. never reach the ultimate goal yeah. unless somebody wants to call me God. Exactly. <laughs> so, so, and that, that, that's probably the wrong thing to say, but you understand I will never reach my full potential, but I keep striving. I keep reading books because everything is changing every day. So if you don't stay on top of it, you will slip the wrong slide and go down the wrong slope. And I told my son this one day he came to me and he's a computer science grad from UCF and he graduated at 21. I said, okay, put your resumes out, get a job. He said, no, I want to be an entrepreneur. And I said, the entrepreneur is manure unless you know what you're doing. Yeah. How are you going to get there? What are you going to do? <laughs> Something a dad could say for sure. I love it. But, yeah, I, I mean, truly, and, and he says, no, I'm going to do it on my own. I said, that's fine. I, I I really look forward to it. I want you to, but you have to educate yourself in your field every day, and you have to be better than the person right next to you if you think you're going to take over that field. I said, stay in touch, get a job, then become an entrepreneur. Right. Entrepreneur. Uh, know your stuff learn from the best, then do your own thing. And he was like, that's great knowledge. And that's what I'm going to do. And what is he doing today? He's an entrepreneur, you know, and that's great. I mean, he's doing well. But I always told him, I said, educate yourself on everything. Don't be shy. You always keep, you want to keep learning there. Are, I, I learn something new every day. I, I know that sounds like cliche, but every day I'm like, wow, that I didn't think of that. Or I'm having a conversation with people. The other thing that people I think need to do to expand that knowledge is not continue to go to the exact same source you've been going to forever. Get different perspectives and learn things and go outside of your comfort zone because uh, you know you and I are both in the in the real real estate industry. But a lot of the books I read and the shows that I watch, the YouTube videos, they have nothing to do with our industry. They have to do with other industries, but I can learn from other leaders who are collaborative in spirit and sharing the knowledge that they have. Absolutely. And see, so you are doing exactly what everybody should try or strive to do is not only know your business, know everything that's around your business that affects your business. So that means I have to know not only real estate, I have to know mortgages, I have to know title work, I have to know... And so I read books on title. What does it take to be a title agent? What does it take to be a mortgage agent? Because I respect the field that's around me because there is some really smart people out there that you can learn from. I, I met a guy that was vice president of Blackstone back when the market was in a depression. And he gave me a book that he read I read that book and then I went back to him and I said, so where do I go? What do I do to be like you? And he says, you can't be like me because I'm me, but that's you right. can be like yourself and learn from me. And when he told me, I said, that's great. So where do I go? He said, here's five more books. I want you to read them in four weeks and get back to me. And I read those books, Ted, and I'm like, wow, the, what I learned is amazing now is it something i could use in my day-to-day -day business no because it's a totally different facet of the real estate market but i learned a lot from him and i learned a lot from you and i learned a lot from everybody that's in my field and that's how you stay at least on top of your field and become better every day and you're going to get better every day. And sometimes you're going to feel, I've lost it. I've slipped. I don't know where I'm going. You're going to have those days. I have them. I think everybody does. I have them. But I think you keep going. You just keep striving to keep helping people. And that's my goal. That's my goal, to teach everybody I can teach 
with the knowledge I've learned, helps them out. So before we head out, I like to ask us this, especially uh, collaborative. You have such a collaborative spirit uh, about you and the sharing and the giving back. How do you start your day? What is something that you do to keep on track? Is that you have a daily habit that you do? I mean, I'll share with you. I wake up and I, whether I'm feeling it or not, I make sure that I embrace gratitude. As I think I'm thankful for three or four or five things. That sort of starts my morning. How about you? I'm pretty much the same way. I wake up and I give thanks for what I have. Uh, then I go into my quiet time is what I call my quiet time. I get away from the dogs and the family and the wife and the kids. And I sit and I, in some sense, call it meditating. It's not true meditating, but I meditate on what I need to do today to be a better person, one, and what I need to do today to be a successful person. Yes. And those are my two things I do every day. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But. That's the thing. I, I'm so glad you said that because I, I keep meaning to tell people just because I wake up that way, just because I'm trying to do something doesn't mean all of a sudden I, I wake up and I'm peppy and everything's all rainbows and, and, and sparkles. You, you have to train your mind. It's mindset. You have to figure out and you just have to sometimes push through. There are days where I don't feel like being collaborative or dealing with the world or any of that. We all have those moments. To me, the key is making sure that that's just a moment and not an entire day, week, month, year. You're exactly right. And I mean, again, do it, get it into a habit, make it a habit because it's going to do better for you more times than it's going to fail you. I mean, you know what a habit is, is 21 day habit, right? 21 days you do it. Once you get into that habit and you start doing it, you're going to see improvement more than you are going to see failure. And Great. It's just if you set your mind to something and move forward with that. All right, Alan, tell us how we reach you. If somebody wants to learn more, they want to try to talk to you and pick your brain about confidence. Uh, they want to learn sort of how you do things. What's the best way for them to reach you? They can always call me, Ted, at 407-467-3862. That's my cell number. I love to speak to people. I love to help them out. They can also reach me on my website at www.weknoworlando.com. And you can leave a detailed email there, and I'll be glad to respond. And we can have coffee. We can talk. Whatever I can do to help them. I'm more than happy to do so. I love it. Thank you for being uh, on the show. Thanks for your giving back and your generosity of spirit. Uh, I tell people all the time that you can tell when somebody is willingly giving back and not feeling like they forced have to, and it just makes such a difference to people's lives. So thank you for all you do. Alan Maycumber, uh, thanks for being on the show, my friend. I appreciate you. Thank you. Happy holidays. Everybody. Happy holidays. Especially to you. Take Same care. to you and your family. Thank you, guys. All right. We'll be back soon. We'll see you. Reach out to Alan. He's just like this in person. Same guy. Knowledge is confidence. <laughs> Bye, Very guys. Good. Take care. Soon.